Hello everyone. Today I am going to share my first assignment with you. So uh, this assignment is to create a matrix based on the SQL Server tables. Uh, I have provided by these two database queries: create a movies database and the generate creator creature database. So I I need to execute that queries in the uh, so SQL Server Management Studio. So I have did that and I get. Uh, these uh, two tables construct the creature and the movies then i need to import that uh, table in the power bi desktop so this is the power bi desktop here we can visualize the uh, data related to uh, industries like sales finance and all types of data so here are uh, some tabs uh, home insert modeling view and the help and the, this is the visualization pane and this is the field so in this field pane uh, first of all we can uh, we can see the how to get the data from sql server so uh, if we need to get the data from sql server then we have to go to the get get data option from the home tab so after here are the so here are so many types of sources so from there we can take a data so in this case we have to take the data from sql server so we have to go to this option and then we have to uh, we have to uh, write the our uh, system name as our server name and then uh, in database we not need to uh, write anything is optional so here are two types of connectivity mode import and the direct query i have did by import so what is the difference between these two is uh, if we have uh, if we have imported the data then we can able to see the tables in this field and if uh, we can uh, do the direct uh, by direct query then the data is uh, imported virtually we can't able to see the tables in our data uh, in our uh, desktop in our file okay so i have already uh, i have already get the data so i can show you so i i taken this four uh, tables center purchase region town so uh, uh, here uh, after this we can uh, hide the variable name from this uh, data modeling field we can do the relationships uh, which uh, if uh, i don't for example if i don't want to show you this table so i can hide from here so all the fields in this table are hided now okay so in this case we need not to do that okay then uh, then as per my problem statement i have to create a i have to create a matrix showing the average quantity sold by year per quantity per quarter and a reason okay so i have did that i can show you in the in uh, desktop power bi desktop so here i uh, taken the visualization in, from visualization pane i have taken the matrix this matrix and then uh, i have uh, put the reason name as the row header and the years as the column header then uh, okay i how i will show you how to do this so this is the matrix i have taken then i have taken the uh, reason name from this field we have to take the reason name as our rows headers and then we have to take a uh, we uh, we have to take a purchase date and go to the purchase date go to this drop down and then date hierarchy we need to take year and the fault in the column header okay then uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, add values as a quantity so uh, we have to take the quantity from this field to the values okay and we want uh, average of this so we have to do that then uh, we get this table so uh, in this uh, uh, in my problem statement i have to show the data like this per year and per quarter so uh, i uh, how i did that is uh, uh, here are some uh, options drill up and drill down options so uh, if uh, i have to uh, see the data by quarters per year so i i need to do the uh, one level 
in uh, in the hierarchy expand all the down one level in the hierarchy so i click on that uh, option on that what i say the symbol hierarchy so we can able to see the data as per quarter and the year okay so uh, as uh, as i shown if we have to uh, see the data which only reason wise and only year wise then we need to click here so we can do we can do update from here okay thank you